I'll get on the level. Under the sign. Right, destination reached. Side stand down. Let's go and get some food. So I'm here at the Jack of Flag, waiting for me double loading the chips. Got a mug of tea. Cheers. That's the guy who runs the garage. He very kindly said I could use their airline. So yeah, once I've had my lunch, I'll just pop the BSA a bit closer. Okay, it's lunch up. This is what I come here for. I'll just turn you around and show you. Best double egg and chips in Cornwall. Right, I'll stop yattering and start eating. All right, that's the BSA air pressure sorted. It was only a few PSI down, but that uh, airline's so much quicker than the foot pump. So let's get on to the next stop. So where are we going now? We're going to go to Inky's Smokehouse. Slightly longer if we go via St. Clair. Let's go via that route because we'll have to go by bypass again. The guy I was talking to at uh, Project 83 is very keen on those uh, eight bars. I don't think he'd ever ridden a bike with apes, so he'll have a rude awakening if he buys a bike with apes like that. So we're going to go through Liscard rather than on the bypass to give you a flavour of the, the town. Really quite an odd road junction here. And like a few others in Cornwall. You get to lean the bike over a bit. So we're coming into Liscard itself. Pleasant small town in Cornwall. Like most other places in Cornwall, just a little bit more downbeat. I'll see if I can find a picture or two of Liscard to show you some of the nicer features. Beautiful clock over there. I keep thinking, what's that noise? But it's the bike, isn't it? It's reflecting off the uh, walls. As you can see, there's a fair amount, not dereliction, but things are just a little bit on the shabby side. Go right here. This mini roundabout. So we missed most of the centre of uh, Lisgard, or as they pronounce it here, Lisgard. Now we're heading towards St Clair, I think, broadly. Up the other side. I used to come here a lot when I was working in this area. There's a care home nearby. Can frequently attended in a professional uh, capacity. I think it'll be a left here. Care home is just up there. And diverted traffic. It was being diverted on why. So a few miles to uh, the area been here before so I may not video too much of this. Uh, it's a great location for wildlife, uh, for botany, for walking, uh, peace and quiet. In the winter, in the summertime, it does get quite busy. Uh, not the speed limit here, so I think it's 30. You know. Oh, look at that polluting diesel. How do you get rid of them? Yeah, thanks mate. I'm breathing in your poisonous fumes. Hopefully it will diverge shortly. Oh, a cruiser of some kind. And now we've still got the man. Oh, three miles though. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Kick 
hill in the distance. There's another good cafe there. Might go to that one. <laughs> Can't go to too many cafes. I'll be weeing all afternoon. Ormston or Lanson as they say. That way. shows with places where there might be free roaming cattle livestock although probably not this far down gaining altitude all the time Bodmin well, Moor is a bleak place but it has its attractions Some clear old school garage there, carbon motorcycle MOTs. You sort of know. And I watch these cars coming out of side entrances, Mr. Postman. Turning off a bit. Don't have to breathe his horrible fumes any longer. It's a beautiful old chapel there, 1845. Guess it's the home now, is it? Point five a mile we turn left, and then I think I'll stick on the 360. We'll have a grandstand view. This is a wide road by Cornish standards, I can tell you. I think, uh, no, I think so. And we're left here. It's just find somewhere to stop. There's a, oh, I don't know what they are. Tourists broken down, I think. Looks like calf up there. There's somewhere to pull in and put on 360. This is uh, an ancient so we'll also have a quick look at this too. Brilliant. Here we are at King Dunyet Stone. So this is the remnants of what would have been an impressive stone cross uh, dating back from the sort of Celtic period. So they say early 9th century. So yes, 1200 years ago. Also, it's in a fantastic location. And obviously, and I'll show you that in a moment. So they're both inscribed and there are people leaving donations, as is often the case here in Cornwall. Yep, that's me. One blueberry and lemon milkshake at Inky Smokehouse. And uh, I'll just turn you around so there's the sign behind me. I think one of the reasons why I don't come to this place as often as I would like is that A, they didn't really do much for me, so I'm a celiac, and B, the queues are horrendous and I've just spent about 20 minutes waiting for this just because the family in front of me there's about 15 of them well there wasn't but it was felt like it and they're all ordering these ginormous ice creams that seem to take forever however that's just me um, so this is the end of today's video thank you so much for coming with me this far uh, I have been to Goliatha Falls where Inkies is situated before several times many times in fact so I've taken videos there and in fact I've got a good one on my other channel why not check that one out put the link up either at the end or here and uh, yes so I hope if you've uh, been watching enjoying this you will like comment and if you're not already subscribe and tickle the notification bell so you can come with me for more adventures
So where are we going next? I don't know yet. But if, if I do, will you come with me? Thanks for watching. I've been Andy, or Captain Clumsy, from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries. Yeah, one is up here.